He was neither tall and lanky, nor short and heavy set. When he looked at someone, he looked them in the eyes. He was the most generous hearted of men, the most truthful of them in speech, the most mild tempered of them, and the noblest of them in lineage. Anyone who would describe him would say, I never saw before or after him the like of him. Muhammad, described by a contemporary. Muhammad was a man who faced an absolutely hopeless situation. There was a whole continent virtually of people killing one another in an endless hopeless vendetta, going down a chute of violence and warfare, feeling that society was coming to an end and had no hope. He gave them hope single-handedly in a space of 23 years, he brought peace and new hope to Arabia and a new beacon for the world. Islam, the religion Muhammad first brought to Arabia, now claims 1.2 billion followers around the world. There are an estimated 7 million Muslims in America where it is the country's fastest growing religion and the most diverse. Like America itself, the Muslims in this country come from all over the world. They have a common bond, not only in their religious faith and in their mosques, but in this story of Muhammad. They all look to it. This is the source of how to behave of how to be a constructive citizen, of how to be a good parent, of how to be a good child, of how to seek knowledge and truth. These are values that are expressed most clearly for Muslims in the story of Muhammad. In the Quran, Allah says that Muhammad is the best example of behavior for you. And that's what he is, the guide for the way we deal with each other. And when we're in a position of authority, how we attempt to implement justice and law. The Prophet Muhammad, he asked the question to people around him. Do you love your creator? Serve your fellow man first. What does that tell you? It tells you, forget about all this intellectual, yeah, I love God and this and that. If you're going to, you know, forget about talking the talk, walk the walk. You want to serve God, serve people. What more noble way to serve people than to risk your own life to save them? September 11th has changed the whole world. And it has also put the Muslim community in the spotlight. How about the dub installation? Is this dub Muslims installation. have a lot of hostility being hurled at them. But this is also a time of transformation. Many people are very eager to understand Islam and want to know who is the Prophet, what is the Quran, who are the Muslims, how do they live? Through the stories about Prophet Muhammad, we were able to make connections and all of a sudden you would feel that you could relate to things that happened 1,500 years ago, and that the issues weren't old-fashioned. They were universal, and that's what he's taught me. This is the story Muslims have passed down from generation to generation for 1,400 years. A story about the merchant, husband, father, statesman, and warrior whom they consider the final prophet, the man whose legacy continues to shape their lives today.